Hello, today I want to talk about work-life balance for software engineers and what you can do as a software engineer, as a programmer to have work-life balance and to make sure that you stay productive and that you also can enjoy time with your family and loved ones. My name is Florian. I'm a software engineer for more than 20 years now. I've worked in various roles within software engineering. And if you are interested in how to make the step from a programmer to a better software engineer or how to be a better software engineering manager or how to get into software engineering leadership, then please subscribe to this channel. Now let's come back to work-life balance as a software engineer. So most of the software engineers, and I'm not different here, we enjoy software engineering, we enjoy programming. So it's really hard to have work-life balance in the sense of separation of work and life because coding, programming is part of our lives. So the question is, what can software engineers do to improve their life? And while we might love coding and while we might continue to code even in our spare time and after our day job, it doesn't necessarily mean that this is bad or wrong or whatever. At the same time, even though while we are loving what we do, it might still be the case that due to the culture at work or whatever influence there might be, we don't have this balance. We don't feel balanced. We don't feel rested when we start the next day working. So it's important to look at what are the things that you can do to improve your work-life balance. At the end of this video, I will also share one of my personal techniques that I use to improve my work-life balance. And the first thing that's important about work-life balance is to accept that as a software engineer, you likely will always have more work than you are able to finish in a day, in a week, in a month, whatever your time span will be. And even if you finish the work, there will be new work coming in. That's just something that we have to accept. And that means that we always should make a plan about what are the tasks that we are attacking, what is the order, the priority of the tasks, and then also communicate how long tasks will need when they will be done. And of course, if your schedule is already full, when, when you already have your plan and uh, you know that you have much more work than you can do is say no to new work. The next thing that you should do is start tracking the time that you work or do work related stuff. When you sit in front of a computer for eight hours a day, you work or sometimes even longer, you come home, have dinner and then sit again in front of a computer. You should start to track, okay, how much time am I really spending in front of a computer? How much time am I really spending working every week? And then think about, is this sustainable? Is this okay for me? Is this okay for my family and my loved ones? Or do I need to make adjustments? And then also make sure to discuss those limits with your loved ones and your family to make sure that they are really on board with it. Because having a conflict, even if it's not in the open with your family members about how much you work is also not really good for your work-life balance. And then you can come up with rules, right? So for instance, one rule could be that um, you don't work in the evenings or you don't work on the weekends. And with work, I really mean coding in any way or software engineering in any way, even if it's not related to your day job. It could also mean that you just come up with some rules that um, there are days where you are allowed to work as much as you want or code as much as you want. And there are some days like, I don't know, Friday, it's family evening and Tuesdays are date nights, right? So that's something that, that you can come up with as a rule. And then make sure 
that you have time away from the computer scheduled and that it's really in your calendar and that you have made a commitment to do that and then spend quality time with your loved ones or go out for a walk, uh, go out for a hike, do some sports, right? Whatever you enjoy, but away from the computer, maybe outdoors, maybe indoors, whatever the season will be, right? So there's, it's really just important to get a change of scenery getting away from the computer. The other thing, of course, that you need, because most of the day you will be sitting in a chair, right? And if you are sitting in a chair, most of the day, what's important is to go outside to get some fresh air, get enough exercise. So I will take you now with me outside for some exercise. And when we come back, I will talk more about the things I do to ensure that I have a proper work-life balance. Hey guys, so I'm out here running. Let me slow down here just for a bit so that the video is not too shaky. It's still gonna be shaky, sorry for that. So running is one of my strategies to achieve a better work-life balance, to get away from the computer screen, get out of the house, have some fresh air, have some exercise. And I really do it all year round whether it's in winter with snow or in summer when the sun is out. It's really once you get used to it, you can do it really in any weather. And then it's just a matter of the right clothes and the right gear to protect you from the nature. And I really have to say one thing that I like about running is while you're out, you have either a lot of time to think and quite often I get the best ideas on how to make progress on the problem when I'm stuck or um, about the next video that I could upload here on YouTube. So, so that's one thing, right? Depending on your mood, get some time just thinking nothing, don't doing anything other than running. But the other thing is since you don't have to concentrate that much on running, right? Running and walking is something we are just naturally set up to do. You can also listen to a podcast and learn something, listen to an audiobook. So yeah, that's what I like about running. So much for running. So we are back here at the desk. What do I do in addition to running? to keep my work-life balance. One thing is I schedule time with my wife, with my family, we really spend quality time. I have that blocked off in my calendar. I also exercise regularly so that I get away from the computer, that I get out of my chair here and have this exercise and fresh air. And I also try to keep a balanced diet, so not too much unhealthy food, uh, not that much fast food and that also helps to stay energized and have the energy throughout the day. If you found this video helpful, then please leave a thumbs up here for me. If you want to see more videos on software engineering, how to be a more productive programmer, how to master the step from programmer to software engineer, uh, how to be a more effective software leader, then please subscribe to my channel and I see you in the next video.